first day of November. You know what that means. Christmas is coming. I can't wait. I'm actually buzzing. I'm, a, I'm actually buzzing. Anyway. Today I'm going to be doing a day in my life at university and um, today's quite a good day because we're in the bakeries and we're making, I believe, a raspberry pistachio croissant and uh, I've forgotten the name of it. There's a I have been getting lots of requests to do some bread baking on my channel but I don't know if everyone would want to see that I, because I haven't done like proper baking videos and I'm, I'm just a bit nervous. I know it sounds so silly because I'm trained in it. Um, but I do feel like people, I don't know, I don't know. So I thought I'll ease myself in and do like a day in my life at uni and then we can see how we go from there. So I've also got a morning routine coming up. Um, so I'm not gonna like vlog what I've done this morning to get ready, but I am about to have my hot water because that is the morning essential to keep me going. It's currently half past six. Um, yes, I am. One of those weird people who are bright and breezy in the morning. But that is like most of my family, actually. The legend, the genius from she bought me this from her work. Um, I just need to vlog. She bought me these puppies, which I'm gonna try later. Um, Kennard's chocolate, that's where you work, isn't it? Oh, is that... <laughs> really funny. Hello. Um, so I'm gonna try these when I'm home. They're vegan kosher, right? Chocolates, and I'm absolutely buzzing, particularly for this one, which has a peanut. Peanut butter, truffle, and a hazelnut praline. And they sell them at John Lewis now, on the big time, woohoo. Um, so I'm actually real buzzing. I don't know how I'm gonna, is it really spicy? No, not really, no. Okay. It's like you get the cardamom and then you get the bit of the chili. It's like warm. Mm. Mm. Oh, I'm so excited, thank you. I'm actually buzzing. Right, now I need to get dressed. Oh hey, Akira! That's not what you want, a camera shoved in your face. So, a little bit of pre class cleaning. Get in there. Mm -hmm. So, we're not actually doing what I said we were doing. We are now making jewel something. Hey, here's my dough from last week. It's kind of still frozen, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. I'm getting them out in the fridge and I was like, they're gonna They're rocks. <laughs> Sexy baby, yes you are. Here are your structures, okay? Yeah. Okay, so um, literally what I was just about to say before Devon interrupts it. It's good, I think. Really good? Here, not so good. No here, but here it's really good. Yeah. Okay. Oopsie. It's not so good. Um, Trying to do a clean so what what why days if I'm honest and we're not getting far and I think I've just put flare in my eyes it's fine <laughs> look at that it's not it's so hard to roll out and it's not staying in a rectangle shape put out she's done it one kilo to roll my 
Okay. Ready? Okay. Yeah. You're not doing work Make today, sure. Grace? Oh. <laughs> so now we're just going to follow her up. Look how lovely that is. <laughs> it's a bit crinkly. <laughs> it looks like a, uh, a butt cheek. <laughs> So here we have a. I don't. <laughs> I can't do it. Right. We're doing the chocolate bit now. It's fine, Grace. This, this though needs to be a rolling pin and five centimeters. So uh, your girl has. <laughs> I got a lot of overhang. We're not supposed to have overhang. All right, how are we doing? <laughs> All right, muscles, Akira. Crikey, O'Reilly. So, what you want to do, out of this you're going to be making three products, okay? So you're going to be making croissants, okay? You're going to do some uh, vimozzi, okay? Some vimozzi, okay? So, uh, it's just plain with the jewel, and then we're going to score it, okay? And so when it flares up, i.e. it will, uh, this is the white dough. Check it. So we're halfway through the making process of the first product and we're making these ones and we're scoring them and it is very tense but I've done these ones so far so I'm going to do the last one I don't really know how to uh, film myself doing the last one Jay Cut is definitely done it's shining so it's lunch time now but I left my camera in the room hi everyone with the lunches um, I've got leftover pizza from yesterday I'm trying to open my spoon Oh, she's got her soupy soup. So we're just supporting our chocolate lecturer, Barry Johnson, who's currently at the World Chocolate Masters and we're watching it in our lunch break. Oh, yeah. Akira is well happy. Look at that face. Oh, he's got the spray gun out. Oh, oh everyone's watching it. it. <laughs> she's dead. Emily's not, because she wants flipping oh, Sweden to win or whoever it is. <laughs> <laughs> Flour. I mean, it's to explain, we are currently at the pastry break, which is basically a utensil that you use to roll out your pastry, and it is a lot easier than using the rolling pin. But we do the rolling pin method, so we know like the process and what we're doing. Um, and we're rolling out for next week when we were making cronuts. <laughs> <laughs> one. 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 There's only one way to say one atom. <laughs> Get your dialect one. right. Oh, uh, he's definitely going to make us do the presentation. Do you have it? I'm going to do the presentation. Do we actually have a presentation? Did you actually make one? The camera's made one. I've got, I've got, I've printed stuff off. It's like print off a few days. Oh. Five. Only one more to go. <laughs> oh, I see. I get it. I don't know how to use it. Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> She's so loud. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I love you. Right, no one's snitch on me. <laughs> now this is the fun stuff that you, I don't put in the vlog because he wants to see cleaning, but this is a lot of what happens. So they're finished. Here's the croissants, the chocolate things. We have a little split here, that's fine. She's glazing. Too close together. Oh, just the, yeah. Too close together, Grace. Five marks to die. For real. Looks like Batman. For real. Ready to go to the shop. So that is uh, a day finish. Obviously, I'm gonna go home now and I'll carry on the day. The day is not over yet. Um, we just got, we analyzed the products and what else? We cleaned up, glazed them. Yeah. Hi guys, I'm home now. Um, as you can tell, I actually um, was gonna wait for my family to get home to try these chocolates. 
but I, A, am hungry, B, have no idea where any of my family are. I hate coming home to an empty house. Um, I've got my hot water, by the way, if you are wondering. It's um, the afternoon time now, and I'm gonna try these chocolates. I think I'm, what I'm actually gonna do is try these ones first, and then wait to try the bars with my family. Although my sister doesn't like dark chocolate, so um, she might wanna try those. I'm so, I just think, how amazing that my, my friends actually these chocolates are handmade. I know for a fact that they hand make them. And you can buy them on John Lewis. How mad is that? Really sounds like an ad, but I swear my life is not an ad. Not spawn. Just really proud of my friends. And I'm gonna just try them. Oops, I just jabbed my finger in. Look at them. I just go for one first. I don't I'm like that is Swap, and you just put oh yeah this is a raspberry one peanut butter truffle i'm not exaggerating just because they're my friends i'm literally i wouldn't say this i'm brutally honest about my food reviews i take them very seriously and i wouldn't say i didn't like something if i didn't like it but that peanut butter chocolate I never want the flavour to leave my mouth. It had a salty edge because of the peanut. It was smooth in the middle. I'm gonna go for the raspberry flower. Now, I don't actually really like fruity chocolates. I think chocolate, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about like a ganache. Like in a, if I was having a box of roses, I wouldn't pick the fruit cream ones. You know what I mean? But if it's in a bar, I love it chuck any fruit in there. I love the texture it gives and I love the flavour. I don't know. Just as a ganache, I'm not sure. So this one's really pretty by the way. I'm not even joking, what the heck? I love the texture of their ganache. Wow. Okay, now this one is gonna be an honest review because I hate caramel and I'm gonna try the smooth caramel. I literally I don't know why but I just don't like caramel. So I'm gonna try it so then it just shows that <gasps> Okay, wait, but be a caramel, like a stringy one. You know the dairy milk bars where they're really stringy? I hate those. But if it's a caramel, as in like a fudgy caramel, I love it. And this was a fudgy caramel. I haven't had this for years and years. This, this literally tastes like in a quality street box, you know you get um, the toffee pennies. The flavor tastes like a toffee penny, but the texture is more smooth. Then we have the spiced fruit cup. I don't think I will like this one because I don't really like spicy things like cinnamon. I just don't really like that flavor. I'm actually a little bit nervous to try this one because I don't think I'll like it. Okay. Now this one, I'm not a fan of that one. Mm -mm. If you like Christmassy flavors, you will like that chocolate. And the texture, that ganache again. It's so smooth, I love it. But the flavor, Go online, buy them. Thanks guys, and thanks to the boss. I think his name is Andrew. Thanks to Andrew for letting them bring some in for me. It's very kind of you. Um, what the heck? Mm, it's not, was so unique. I've never had anything like that. All right, let's go in. I'm actually thinking I'm gonna do some edit video editing now because I have a lot of videos in the pipeline that I need to finish editing that I haven't edited. So let's do that. Okay, so that's actually the end of the vlog because um, I realise again this is really long now and I don't want it to be too long because you know I'm just not about that um, and I tried the raspberry one oh my gosh that raspberry bar is 10 out of 10 that is a lush bar and it's kind of like um, it's quite a dark chocolate so if you like dark chocolate you'll like it and it's, it's really good again wasn't the biggest fan of the cardamom one just because that's not my favourite flavour. However, I know that there are people, if you like cardamom, it's a really nice, like, subtle flavour. But just for me, I'm not a fan of cardamom. And that box of chocolates I would recommend for a gift for any vegan or dairy-free person that you know. Or if they're kosher. Something for everyone there. Um, I hope you did enjoy. Let me know if you've got any other video requests. I'll put the link to um, Kenard's down below so you can go and check it out.